Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we'll be covering Jeremiah 3 through 5 and 1 Timothy 4. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word, so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The Defiled Land, Jeremiah 3. God says, if a husband divorces his wife and she leaves him and becomes another man's wife, will he return to her again? Would that land not be completely defiled? But you are a prostitute with many lovers. You turn to me, declares the Lord, and raise your eyes to the bare heights and see, and where you have not been violated. You have sat for them by the roots like an arrow in the desert. And you have defiled a man with your prostitution and your wickedness. And therefore the showers have been withheld. And there has been no spring rain. And yet you had a prostitute's forehead. And you refused to be ashamed. Have you not just now called me? My father, you are the friend of my youth. Will he be angry forever? Or keep his anger to the end? Behold, you have spoken and have done evil things, and you have had your own way. Faithless Israel. Then the Lord said to me, In the days of King Josiah, have you seen what faithless Israel did? She went up on every high hill and on under every leafy tree, and she prostituted herself there. And yet, I thought, after she has done all these things, she would return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister, Judea saw it, and I saw that from all the adulteries of faithlessness of faithless Israel, and I had sent her away and given her a certificate of divorce, and yet her treacherous sister Judea did not fear, but she went and prostituted herself also, and because of the thoughtlessness of her prostitution, she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and streets or trees. And yet, in spite of all of this, her treacherous sister Judea did not return to me with all her heart, but rather in deception, declares the Lord. God invites repentance. And the Lord said to me, Faithlessness, Israel has proved herself to be more righteous than treacherous Judea. Go and proclaim these words towards the north and say, Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will not look at you in anger, for I am being been, I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge, acknowledge your wrongdoings, that you have revolted against your Lord, your God, and I have scattered your favors to strangers under every leafy tree, and that you have not obeyed me or my voice, declares the Lord. And return, you faithless sons, declares the Lord, for I am a master to you, and I will take you, one from a city, and two from a family, and bring you to Zion. Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart, 
who will feed you knowledge and understanding. And it shall be in those days when you become numerous and are faithful in the land, declares the Lord. They will no longer say the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and it will not come to mind, nor will they remember it, nor miss it, nor will it be made again. At that time, you will call in Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations will assemble at it at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord, and they will no longer follow the sub stubbornness of their evil hearts. And in those days the house of Judea will walk with the house of Israel, and they will come together from the land of the north to the land that I gave your fathers as an inheritance. And then I say, how I would set you among my sons and give you a pleasant land the most beautiful inheritance of the nations. And I said, you shall call me my father and not turn away from following me. However, as a woman treacherously leaves her husband, lover, so her have to well treacherously with me. My house of Israel declares the Lord. A voice is heard on the bare heights, the weeping and pleading of sons of Israel, because they have perverted their ways. They have forgotten the Lord their God. In return, you faithful sons, I will heal your faithlessness. Behold, we come to you, for you are the Lord our God. Certainly the hills are a deception, come on, uh, commotion on the mountains, certainly in the Lord our God is salvation of Israel. But the shame is consumed, the product of our fathers labor since in your youth, their flocks and their hand herds, their sons and their daughters, let us lie down in our shame, and let us humiliate our humiliation cover us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, and we and our fathers from your youth, even to this day. And we have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Judea threatened with invasion. Jeremiah 30, uh, on Jeremiah 4. If you will return, Israel declares the Lord, then you should return to me. And if you will put away your detestable things from my presence and will not waver, and if you will swear, as the Lord lives in truth, in justice and in righteousness, then the nation will bless themselves in him, and in him they will boast. For this is what it is the Lord says to the men of Judea and to Jerusalem. Break up your uncultivated ground, and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and remove the poor skins of your hearts, men of Judea and inhabitants of Jerusalem, or else my wrath will spread like fire and burn with no one to quench it because of the evil of your deeds. Declare in Jerusalem and proclaim in Jerusalem and say, Blow the trumpet in the land, cry out loud and say, Assemble, and let's go into the fortified cities. Raise a flag toward Zion, take refuge 
and do not stand still, for I am bringing evil from the north and great destruction. A lion has gone up from his thicket, and a destroyer of nations has set out, and he has gone out from his place to make your land waste. Your cities will be ruined without inhabitants. And for this, put on sackcloth, mourn, and wail, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned away from us. And it shall come about on that day, declares the Lord, that the heart of the king and the hearts of the leaders will fail and the priests will tremble, and the prophets will be astonished. And then I said, O Lord God, surely you have utterly deceived this people in Jerusalem, saying you will have peace, and yet a sword touches the throat. At that time it will be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a scorching wind from the bare heights in the wilderness and in the direction of the daughter of my people, not a window nor a window, and uh, uh, to cleanse a wind too strong for this will come at my command. Now I will also pronounce judgment against them. Behold, he goes up like clouds, and he his chariots like the whirlwind, his horses are swifter than eagles. And woe to us, for we are ruined. Wash your hearts from evil, Jerusalem, so that you may be saved. How long will your wicked thoughts lodge within you? For a voice declares from Dan, and proclaims wickedness from the Mount Ephraim, and report it to the nations now, proclaiming to Jerusalem, enemies are coming from a remote country, and they uh, raise their voices against the cities of Judea. Like watchmen of a field, they are against her all around. Because she has rebelled against me, declares the Lord. And your ways and your deeds have brought these things upon you. And this is your evil. How bitter and how it has touched your heart. Give a grief over today's devastation. My soul, my soul, I am in anguish. Oh, my heart, my heart is pounding in me. I cannot keep silent because, my soul, you have heard the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Disaster upon disaster is proclaimed, for the whole land is devastated. And suddenly my tents are devastated, and my curtains in an instant. How long must I see the flag and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people are foolish, and they do not know me. They are foolish children, and they have no understanding. They are like skillful at doing evil, and but they do not know how to do good. I look at the earth, and behold, it was a formless and desolate emptiness into the heavens, and they had no light. I looked on the mountains, and behold, they were baking. And all the hills jolted back and forth. I looked, and behold, there was no humans, and all the birds of the sky had fled. I looked, and behold, the fruitful land was wilderness and all its cities were pulled down 
before the Lord, before his fierce anger. And for this is what the Lord says, the whole man shall be desolation, and yet I will not exalt a complete destruction, for this the earth will mourn, and the heavens above will be come dark, because I have spoken, I have purposed, or proposed, and I have not changed my mind, nor will I turn from it. At the sound of the horsemen and archers, every city flees, and they go into the thicket and climb among the rocks, and every city is abandoned, and uh, no one lives in it. Yet you, desolate one, will, what will you do? Although you dress in scarlet, and although you adorn yourself with jewelry of gold, and although you indulge your eyes with makeup, or enlarge your eyes with makeup, in vain you make yourself beautiful. Your lovers despise you. They seek your life. For I heard a voice cry as of a woman in labor, the anguish as of one giving birth to her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion gasping for breath, stretching out her hands, saying, Ah, oh, woe to me, for I fainted before murderers. Jerusalem, Godlessness, Jeremiah 5, Go to sleep. Roam about through the streets of Jerusalem, and look and take notice, and seek in her public squares, and if you could find a person, if there is one who does justice, who seeks honestly, when, uh, then I will forgive her. And although they say, as the Lord lives, certainly they spoke falsely. Lord, do your eyes not look for honesty? You have struck them, but they did not awaken or weaken, and you have consumed them, but they refused to accept discipline. And you have made their faces harder than rock, and they have refused to repent. Then I said, They are all of before they are foolish. For they do not know the way of the Lord, or the judgments on their of their God. For I go to greet and speak to them. For they know that the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God. But together they too have broken the yoke and burst the restraints. And therefore a lion from the forest will kill them. A wolf of the desert will destroy them. A leopard is watching their cities, and everyone who goes out and of them will be torn in pieces. Because their wrongdoings are many, and their apostates uh, uh, their apostates are numerous. And why should I forgive you? Your sons have forsaken me and sworn by those who are not gods. And when I had fed them to the full, they committed adultery and stayed at the prostitute's house. They were well fed lusty horses, each one many at their, his neighbor's wife. And shall I not punish them for these things, declares the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on a nation such as this? Go up through her vines, rose and destroy 
and but do not execute a couple of complete devast destruction. Strip away her branches, for they are not for the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judea have dealt very treacherously with me, declares the Lord. And they have lied about the Lord and said, Not ye. A misfortune will not come upon us, nor will we see sword or famine. The prophets are as blind wind, and the words in them does so it will be done. Judgment proclaimed. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of armies, says, Because you have spoken this word, and behold, I am making my words fire in your mouth, and this people would, and it will consume them. Behold, I am bringing a nation against you from afar away, your house of Israel, declares the Lord, and it is an enduring nation, and it is an ancient nation, a nation whose language you do not know, nor can you understand what they say. They quiver, uh, their quiver is like an open grave. All of them are warriors, and they will devour your harvest and your food, and they will devour your sons and your daughters. They will devour your shop, side flocks and your herds. And they will devour your vines and your fig trees. And they will demolish your fortified cities in which you trust with the sword. And yet even in those days, declares the Lord, I will not make a complete destruction of you. And it shall come about when they say, Why has the Lord our God done all these things to us? And then you shall say to them, Just as you have abandoned me and served foreign gods in your land, so you will serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and proclaim it in Judea, saying, Now hear this, you foolish and senseless people, who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear. hear. Do not fear uh, me, declares the Lord. Do not tremble in my presence, for I have placed this the sand as a boundary for the sea. And eternal limit, and it will not cross over it. And though the waves toss, they cannot prevail. And though they roar, they will not cross over it. And but this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart, and they have turned aside and departed. They do not say in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God, who gives rain in its season, both the autumn rain and the spring rain, who keeps us uh, for us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your wrongdoings have turned these way away, and your sins have kept the good away from you. For wicked people are found among my people, and they watch like followers lying in wait. And they set traps, and they catch people like a cage full of birds. And so their house are full of deceit, and therefore they have become great and rich. And they are fat, they are sleek, and yet they also excel in deeds of wickedness.
and they do not plead the cause. They call the cause of orphan so that they may be successful and they may not defend the rights of the poor. Shall I not punish them for these things, declares the Lord? Or shall I not avenge myself on a nation such as this? An appalling and honorable thing has happened in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule on their own authority, and my people love it this way. But what will you do when the end comes? That was Jeremiah 3 through 5. Now we will be turning to 1 Timothy 4. Go to sleep. Abandonment of Faith, 1 Timothy 4. But the Spirit explicitly says that in later times, some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and teaching of demons. And by means of the hypocrisy of liars steered in their own conspiracy, conscience as with a parading iron who forbid marriage and advocate abstaining from foods which God has created to be gratified gratefully shared in by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if, as if uh, it were received with gratitude, for it is sanctified by means of the word of God and prayer. A good minister disciples. In pointing out these things, to the brothers and sisters, you will be good servants of Christ Jesus, constantly nourished on the words of the faith and of the good doctrine which you have been found. But stay away from worthless stories that are typical of old men. Rather discipline yourself for the purpose of goodness, of godliness. For behold, the bodily training is just slightly beneficial, but godlessness is beneficial for all things, since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. And it also is trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance. For if it is for this we labor and strive because we have set our hopes beyond the living God who is the survivor of all mankind especially of believers. Prescribe and teach these things and let no one look down on your usefulness, but rather in speech conduct the faith and purity. Show yourselves an example of those who believe. Until I come, give your attention to the public reading, to extortion and teaching, and do not neglect the spirit gift within you, which was granted to you through the words of prophecy, with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Take pains with these things, 
and be absorbed in them. And so that you, uh, your progress will be evidence to all. Pay close attention to yourself and you uh, to the teacher and teachings and preserve in your things for you as you do this. You will save both yourself and those who hear you. And that was First Timothy 4, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Jeremiah 6 through 8 and First Timothy 5. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be pure messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Frisco 2024 for today. I, Shannon Bill Frisco, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you. So do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Thank you. God bless you. And please like and share.